Attempt number 286. I'm tired, I'm starving, and I want to touch some grass. Hi everyone. Developers have just announced that they don't have any plans on endgame players and endgame content. So today we're going to talk about new players. Genshin Impact has been on for a while now and I'm not going to tell you what actually Genshin Impact is. I'm just gonna explain you the basic things about it. I've seen a lot of common mistakes being done by players. Let's start with the basic. In the game we've got three types of experience. We got characters experience, reputation experience, and adventure rank experience. Character experience is that experience that you use to level up your characters, which can be obtained in two ways. First is by killing monsters, but you'll get a really small amount of experience. And the second is by using level up materials. So these three are level up materials. Here is where you can get them. Random events, Blossom of Revelations, also known as a ley line. So these are the ley lines that you get level up materials and exchange from, from real depot, is, which is from teapot. You will unlock the teapot later on in okay. the game. Two, reputation system gets unlocked after you reach AR25 and you've finished certain quests. I'm not gonna name them, you can easily find them on Google. So reputation experience can be obtained by completing bounties, weekly requests, exploration, and side quests. By reaching certain levels of reputation, you will receive a lot of useful rewards. In each city you will have an NCP that has this really weird shaped triangle on the top. In Mondstadt is Herta. So you go on how my reputation is in Mondstadt and then you have world exploration, how much of the Mondstadt you have explored. You have Mondstadt quest, how many side quests, Archon quests have you done. Bounties, there are three types of bounties, like the, the higher bounty, more experience you will get, and also you get more. And requests, you can only do three of them in a week. No matter what city you do it, you can do, let's say, one in Mondstadt, one in Liyue, one in Inazuma. That's it, you cannot do more. What I always recommend, do one at a time. Do three quests, three bounties in Mondstadt until you reach level eight and then head to Liyue and then to Inazuma and Sumeru. About the adventure rank, things are a bit more interesting. Adventure rank experience, also known as AR experience, can be obtained only from completing quests, killing world bosses and weekly bosses. This is also linked with your world level, which is technically the difficulty level of the game. After reaching AR 20, your world level will go to level one and every five adventure rank levels, your world level will go up by one. After reaching world level 5, you will uh, unlock the possibility to lower your world level. So how it works. The higher the world level, the stronger the monsters became. However, you will also get better reward. And here comes my first advice to you guys. Do not increase your world level if your team isn't strong enough to face a stronger opponent. As an example, I'll show you mine. I'm world level 6 and adventure rank 50. And as you see, I went over 1 0.3 millions on my adventure rank experience. This experience isn't wasted because if I will do the jump, it will throw me all the way up to AR58. I haven't done this because I'm taking my time to get as best artifacts for my characters as possible. And also because, well, I'm a lazy ass and I cannot be asked to go for a higher AR. From adventure rank 45, you are guaranteed with a five star artifact in artifacts domain. And at AR50, you can level up your characters all the way up to level 90. This this is what I call the golden middle. Okay, I'm gonna do the ascension quest after I reach one and a half million. A quick recap about the experience. The more you explore, the more quests you do, the more adventure rank and reputation experience you will get. Now, let's talk about resin, which is this one. Resin comes in three states. We have normal resin, that's the normal resin. So these are fragile resin, and this is condensed resin. Resin is used to get rewards from the main, world and weekly bosses and ley lines. You get daily 160 resin. If you're running out of resin, you can replenish it with fragile resin if you don't want to wait for the next day for it to get replenished. Every eight minutes you get one resin and it takes over 21 hours to fully replenish it. Condensed resin, however, it's used only for domains and ley lines and you unlock it after reaching reputation level three in Liyue. One condensed resin is made out of 40 normal resin and one crystal core, which is this one. And it gives you double the reward in domain and ley line. So if you can't be asked to do bosses or domains in one day, just transfer all your resin in condensed resin. That can be done at Alchemy. However, you can only have five condensed resin in your bag. So eventually every other day you 
you will still have to do some bosses or domain just to consume your resin. And here comes another advice. Until you reach adventure rank 45, do not waste your resin in artifacts domains. Use your resin for bosses and ley line. You are going to need a lot of more to fully build a character. Let's have a look at this photo. To get a character from level 1 to level 90, you need 2.1 million more. For its talents, 5 million more. Plus, you also have a weapon to level up to level 90. You also have artifacts to build as well. But until you start farming in artifacts domains, you will get some artifacts eventually from farming bosses. You will get Wendry's Troop, one of the best sets for Ganyu, and you'll get Gladiator. Gladiator and Wendry's Troop, they're one of the best sets in the game and they are the easiest to get. Also, you will get the Berserker set. Unfortunately, this set doesn't have a five star option but it's a really good set. Now we are going to talk about my favorite part in this game, which is exploring. We can have hours of conversations about exploring and in the same time, it can be explained in just a few words. Pick everything that can be picked up, kill everything that moves and can be killed, or as I like to say, over absolutely everything. Trust me, you are going to need everything. So if you see a monster minding his own business, just go and murk the fucker. Get everything. It doesn't matter what is it. If it's a boar, if it's a killer turtle, or if it's a meta turtle, kill it. Get the material. You are going to need absolutely everything. While exploring, take your time to unlock every statue of seven, every teleport, every domain, as it can be used as well as teleport. Try and solve every puzzle, open every chest, you will get a ton of rewards, you will get a ton of rainbow gems. While exploring, you will find oculuses, animal, geo, electro, and now dendro. These are crimson negate. It's similar to oculuses, you'll have to upgrade a tree on dragon spine, exactly the same principle as upgrading a statue of seven. This will give you a ton of rewards. In first two regions, when you upgrade the statue of seven, you will also increase your stamina. This will help you when you will glide, when you will sprint, when you will climb. That is going to help you a lot. Besides this, statue of seven will give you also adventure rank experience. Not just when you unlock them, but when you upgrade them as well. Everything you unlock gives you adventure rank experience. Remember that. You will find also that there are a few types of domains. There are domains that you'll do once for one time reward. This is a domain with one time reward. Domain with weekly bosses. You can kill the boss as many times as you want, but you will only be rewarded once a week. First three bosses will cost you 30 resin, the other weekly bosses will cost you 60. Then we have domains where you get the materials to level up your talents, then we have domains for weapon materials, and we have artifacts domains, which are these ones. And one more thing about exploring, do not rush to other regions like Inazuma and Sumeru. Explore first two regions, Mondstadt including Dragonspine and Liyue. Explore them first and then head to the other region. This is a common mistake that is done by a lot of players and a lot of them are giving up because they cannot handle a stronger monster in the other regions. I've seen people struggle. And this brings us to talk about characters, weapons and how to get them. At the beginning of the game, you will start with a traveler. At the beginning of the game, you will start with a traveler, and then you will get... At the beginning of the game, you will start with a traveler, and there you will get Amber, not this one, this one, yeah, our Amber, the cutie one. Then you will get Kaya, Lisa, and Barbara. And after you finish certain levels in the abyss, you will get Shangling. And I'm going to say now something that is going to trigger a lot of people. Guys, Traveler is one of the best characters in the game. One of the best free-to-play option in the game. And I'm going to explain you why. First, you can obtain all six constellations. You don't have to wish for them. Plus, you have access to four elements at the moment. Animo, Geo, Electro, Dendro. And the best example is myself. I main Geo Traveler. And please don't show this part of the video to Tecton because he's going to have a heart attack after seeing this. Yes, I triple crowned my Traveler. He's really cheap to build as well. Look at that. Gladiator set. You get this artifact set by killing bosses. You can obtain characters from Wishing, Paimon's Shop, and you can also obtain characters from the events. With weapons, however, things are a bit different. Besides getting them from Wishing and events, you can also craft them. You just need a weapon billets, which are these ones, and they can be obtained from weekly bosses and mining products. 
Now I will explain you how wishing works. Here is the standard banner. Every 10 wishes is guaranteed include at least one four star or higher item. When it comes to five star items, you are guaranteed a five star item after 90 wishes. Obviously it can, it can come earlier as it says here. These are the characters from the standard banner. This is what you will get. We'll start with Jean, Diluc, Mona, Chichi, Kiching, and now because it's a 3.1 already, it's Tignery. Remember these six characters that I just mentioned. We are going to talk about them in a minute. Plus, on this banner, we have a bunch of five-star weapons. You can see them here. Now, we are moving to temporary banner. These banners, they are for limited time. Obviously, if you get one of these characters, they're yours forever. The temporary banner comes with a catch, the much loved 50-50 system. There are many ways of explaining it and here is mine. If you're pulling for the first time on the temporary banner, you have a 50-50 chance of getting an exclusive character. Venti is an exclusive character. Sino is an exclusive character. And remember the characters from the standard banner? If you don't get an exclusive character, you will get a character from a permanent banner. The six characters that I named earlier on. And don't be sad about it. They are really good characters. I'll show you them. Diluc and Kachink can be a really good DPS. Mona is a really good support. Chi Chi is a healer and Jin is literally one of the best healers in the entire game. So if you get one of them, don't be sad. Those characters, they're really good and they can be upgraded in your first two regions, except Tignery, Tignery is from Sumeru. They can join up your team straight away. However, with this, if you did, if you lost 50-50, your next five star will be guaranteed an, an exclusive character. But if you got an exclusive character, you will go through 50-50 system and until you get a character from a permanent banner. As an example, last year I won by 50-50s in a row and then this year I won none of them. This brings us to another advice for me. Pull only for the characters that are coming from the regions that you have already unlocked. As an example, Venti is from Mondstadt and Sino is from Sumeru. Until you unlock Sumeru, Sino will be useless to you. So when you pull for Venti, you have all the items available in Mondstadt. You will be able to get everything for Venti to upgrade him. So he can join your team much earlier and he can give you a massive impact in your gameplay. Venti is also one of the best crowd controller in the game. I know not many people will agree with me, but that's fine. Everyone has their own opinion. And now we are going to talk about the biggest scam in this game. The banner that will suck your money and will make you live on bread and water. The fear of every wallet, unless you're free to play, obviously. The weapon banner. Everyone hates this banner because if you're unlucky, you will get the weapon that you want after 250-50 losses. So maximum wishes you are going to need for just a single copy of this weapon is 270. I would say I was lucky once on this banner, really lucky, and I was unlucky twice. Next time I'm going to pull on this banner only if I'm bored or there is a weapon that I desperately need. I'm going to say something that people will not like. Unfortunately, the game is made this way that you have to use your wishes sometimes on this banner. Now guys, I'm going to give you the last two advices. That's just my personal opinion. My first advice will be, guys, take regular breaks from the game. At least once a year, take a week or two break from it. Otherwise, you will simply burn out and you will find this game that becomes more a routine. Take regular breaks and recharge your batteries. And the last one, guys, actually play the way you like. Yes, what I've just said earlier on in the whole video is a way to play the game a bit more efficient. However, play the game the way you want. Play with the characters you want and simply enjoy it. Take your time and enjoy the game. Take your time and play with the characters you actually like. No matter how good Ben it is, if you like playing with Barbara, play with Barbara. No matter how good Zhongli is, if you like playing with Noel, play with Noel. I hope this video will be useful for you and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Well, I hope I'm not that boring for you and make sure you hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and I'll see you soon in the next video. Goodbye.